Hello and welcome to this first look mod video. Today we're going to be looking at the Lemkin Smarag 9400 by Matt26. Let's jump in, let's go. So first up, let's take a look at the Lemkin 9400 in the store. And we'll be calling it that going forward because Smaragd, I'm not even sure if I'm saying that right. But under cultivators, we scroll down, here it is. So this is an older style Lemkin cultivator. It costs 16,500. It requires 140 horsepower. It has a working width of four meters, a working speed of 15 kilometers per hour, which is nine miles per hour. And it weighs 1.6 metric tons. So we'll try and have a little look at it in the store. Now, unfortunately, they it's officially called the Samarag 9 rather than the Lemkin 9400. But We'll, we'll, we'll work what we can with my limited <laughs> pronunciations. Really nice. I, I always used to wonder why the Lemkin was always so blue. Like, everything's always so blue about them. Um, but it's cool. It's, it's the brand. It's the style. Looks very nice. Nice little detail there on the chain. You can see all our screws, our fittings and fixtures. So let's uh, get one down on the farm. Let's have a closer look at it. So we have had a 9400 delivered to the farm. If you want to see me stumble through this a little bit, stay around at the end. I'll put the, uh, put the, put the off cuts on. But yeah, really nice. This is a fixed 4 meter as well. So unlike with some larger cultivators, there's no, no folding mechanism. So as you're traveling, bear in mind, this is 4 meters wide. As you're coming down the road with it, it's, it's, it doesn't sort of fold up to be like two meters or three meters or anything like that it is 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 quite wide on the back of the tractor but that's the older style but yeah i think it looks nice i think it's pretty cool i believe this is probably a a convert through from uh, i believe 19 and 22 possibly even from 17 we've had had a lot of lemkins for for quite a while and they are popular on the uh, on the european farms so uh, yeah we do get a lot of these Let's, uh, let's stick it on the back of a tractor and put it to work, shall we? So as you can see, as we come down the road, it's actually quite, wa quite wide on the back of my Deutz here. And my Deutz should be fine in being able to pull this. Shouldn't have any issue at all. We've got three extra horsepower, so should be good. In, in farm sim world, you can normally uh, normally undersell yourself a little bit. So we'll get that on there. But it looks really nice. And again, yeah, no folder mechanism. But that is how it is. We'll have a little look on the back now that it's raised. Got the soil rollers there to give us our nice seed bed afterwards. The inverted discs and the chisels. So really nice model. Nice detail. It's all there. Lovely. Right. Should we do some cultivating? Luckily, we've always got this field that just seems to need cultivating. Look at the extension on that as it goes down. That's cool. Simple things for simple folk, but I like that. I was just having a little look to see if there was anything extra in the controls. So we've got a, a mode that we can switch between by the looks of it. So we, we are on shallow cultivation. So we can set it to deep cultivation. And Oh, that's nice. So what we'll do, we'll keep going with shallow. And we'll see if it looks any different as we go along. So it's just across the top on shallow cultivation. You can see the changes as we've come across, as we've engaged the mode. So again, we'll go deep cultivation, push it right in. So we're not getting the uh, the stubble and we're going to start bringing up stones. That's cool. That is cool. We'll have a look in the map and see if that makes any difference as well. So I'll bring it up again. You get that change in texture. So you actually get three textures because you've got that like a mulching texture on the top. 
That's really cool. Okay, let's have a look in the map. So if I center our field two here and we go, so you can see that we have obviously harvested field. We have stubble tillage on the, on the lighter. And then we have deep cultivation. And then somewhere in between we have seedbed where it sort of changes over. So you got a bit of everything going on here. So on soil, if we get rid of the needs plowing, turn all these off. It all looks fine. So yeah, that's pretty cool. You can decide we're going to do stubble tillage, a deep cultivation. Like I say, it even gives that little seed bed bit there. That's pretty cool. So yeah, some extra features that I uh, I wasn't sure that we were getting. So I, I like that. So that's ready to... If you don't want to you now have to deal with stones, if you, you know you've got stones coming, go for that light shallow cultivation where you really need to get in there dig it up that is pretty awesome i like that i really like that i mean i will mess about with that way too much but that is the lemkin smarag 9400 by uh, matt 26 lovely little cultivator with a few little tricks up its sleeve very nice indeed we like that we like customizable and working functions and things that just change up and make them more different that's really nice hopefully you enjoy it if you do you know where to go and get it link will be down in the description and hopefully you've enjoyed this video if you have give it a big fat thumbs up down below if you are new to the channel hit the subscribe button turn the bell notification on find it when new videos are going live as always comments and feedback down there you guys have a wonderful day and hopefully i'll see you again soon Bye bye it's sort of an older style lam uh, lambkin. It's sort of an older style. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Sorry, I've made myself laugh because I've called this a lambkin rather than a lambkin.